I am Dieter Brörs, biophysicist. For 30 years I've been researching the connection between consciousness and electromagnetic fields, specifically relative to solar activity. Here on the Nile, I'm reflecting on current events, changes that are taking place, have taken place. On this ship in the Nile, I'm comparing what I've learned as a scientist, what the latest research is showing, with what I've put forth in my books. And in the film Solar Revolution, the change that will lead to a consciousness evolution. When I saw the film The Matrix the first time, I definitely saw it through a different set of eyes than many. That is, the extent to which the matrix was exemplified in the film was something I was able to objectify. The so-called free will that exists outside the matrix, as shown, is indeed available to us all, but it's barely being used. We might think that this or that decision is ours, that our will has decided, but mostly this is an illusion. In order to understand the whole idea, it's important, or at least helpful, if you imagine that man as such is not strictly bound to a four-dimensional space, the so-called Minkowski space-time, where the three dimensions of length, width, plus height, are combined with the fourth one, being time. That this does not adequately describe the totality of the human expression should be clear. And there are in fact solid works in the field of physics from two physicists working in total isolation from each other over an almost 50-year period. They showed us that man is tied into an eight and respectively 12-dimensional space, not merely four. Staying within the parameters of Burkhard Heim, in this 12-dimensional space, the corporeal, the energetic, the information and the spiritual dimensions are collectively unified, not separated. And this is important and requisite if we are to describe man and the cosmos itself as a totality. I've been studying the Burkhardt Heim model for some 20 years and have come to the conclusion, among others, that what is currently transpiring is a transformation into a new state of consciousness. That our cognitive mechanism will shift to another level, a different kind of perception will result the next evolutionary leap. Our evolutionary process is not complete in what we currently are and find around us. We've developed through different phases in evolutionary steps and very obviously the next one is at hand. You realize a single point mutation, that's one small position, that DNA of that three billion base pairs that make up our genome one small change and you lose your ability for language. All of consciousness, and in particular our entire psyche, is affected to a considerable extent by very specific electromagnetic fields as generated by our brains, our neurons. We in turn generate particular pictures or thoughts relative to these. Neuroscience has already proven this. Relatively new, however, is the discovery that in addition to the fields generated by our own bodies, similar fields are generated by the sun and from the cosmos itself and have an effect upon us, due in fact on certain days, and in this way lead to corresponding changes. Just suppose that famous event, whatever it was, when all cultures begin to use language more or less at the same time, was because of a point mutation that spread throughout our species. 
What would have done it? It had to be something that would have united all of us, something to which every human being was exposed. And that's the Earth's magnetic field. If I now take this 12-dimensional space that Burkhard Heim calculated as a means to extrapolate, I come to the conclusion that that which we have described as the soul does in fact exist. Not only is there an intellect, an observer of what exists, there is still a layer above this, which equally belongs to us. It's a layer which has seldom been perceived, at least not consciously. There will be a shift out of purely intellect-based form of perception to an extended form of perception, one controlled by our higher selves. It's quite difficult if you don't exactly understand the formalism. If you can't equate it, it will always remain very philosophical and theoretical. But because these things can, in fact, be mathematically calculated, proved, things that are and those yet to be, it makes it easier when I then can say the result will be or is already because we are in the middle of that process now that a perception out of the higher self will result. The intellect will retreat to another level and the dominant influence, the direction, will come from a higher level. And it will come in a way that is natural. It won't be forced upon us. I will won't even be required in the sense of how should I do this? Raise my understanding to perceive at this new higher level? This higher self will appear triggered by the cosmic influences currently being measured, as we expressed in the film Solar Revolution. If I look at the ideas expressed by the individual experts who appeared in the film, each speaking within their own area of expertise, they all see this transformation on the horizon. I say today that although the film was released over a year ago, it's more current than ever. Yes, we find ourselves in the middle of a transformative process, an awakening, the equivalent to unplugging from the matrix. And a consciousness expansion as such, one that leads to our perceiving of something different from before, lets us clearly conclude that increasingly this process of recognition will lead to an awakening. That we will learn who we really are, perceive our true nature. Our intellect will more or less be led into situations, maybe even forced, where it will need to let go. Letting go in the sense that I'll allow space for that which truly is, a different voice. With our brain and intellect entering into a lighter mode of functioning, the mind becoming quieter, the language of the heart will begin to emerge. Admittedly, this sounds very strange, even esoteric, when one speaks of the language of the heart. The language of the brain, that of the intellect in our heads, lies between 0.5 and 80 hertz in terms of electromagnetic pulse, the basis of the thinking mechanism. That of the heart lies between 0.5 and 2 hertz, a steady and calm frequency, 
those two lie far apart. But if brought into resonance with one another, something new results. When the intellect cooperates with the self, originates from within the heart, so to speak, then a totally new human being is awakened with a completely new awareness. So to speak, the self, which has always been there, will experience a new type of existence. The experience will be far beyond that achieved with the ego, which always held itself to be something unique, but most importantly felt isolated from the whole.